and we're back. Now we can start. <coughs> so, what you're playing currently, Mr. Velvicious? New slot, start campaign. For the expert player, combat is a knife edge. One mistake can be the difference between living and gruesome death. Ultra nightmare, if you die the campaign is over. <laughs> uh, okay, for players who want a challenge. Yeah, sure, let's go with ultra violence. So you walk eternally through the shadow realms, and standing against evil where all others falter. May your thirst for attribution never quench, may the blood on your sword never dry, and may we never need you again. Hawks Entry 717 They are rage, brutal, without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear. Rip and tear! Till it is done. Yeah, well, I'm an old school shooter fan, so I'll do ultra violence. Worst case, I'll turn it back. Okay. I need your head right here. Okay. Uh, well, okay, my mouse is barely working. Make it six razor chroma. No, there's no razor chroma here. Okay, better. Woohoo! Okay, what do we have? Uh, Funds of Kipo, playback available, echo recording. Begin playback. What the actual hell? We have to contain this. Contain what? Thank you. I want that. Manic invasion in progress. Start operations. Status support. Initiating scan. Scan complete. Scan incomplete. Report error. Base casualties unavailable. Facility damage unavailable. Threat level unavailable. Attack origin unavailable. Satellite dish array offline. No signal. Try start. Node 1 online. Node 2 online. Node 3. Error. Can you determine the cause of the demonic invasion until the ResOp satellite is brought back online. Alignment error, magic power offline, alignment offline. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden, and I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> okay. The Praetor suit, decoded entry 001002. Additional relics were found in the tomb alongside the two marines, some incantation tablets, and an ancient combat suit which was given a name, the Praetor suit. When I found it, it was encased in an inscribed stone tomb. The suit was extracted from the rock, cleaned and subjected to numerous tolerance tests, and found to be almost impervious to any damage. It appeared to have some mechanical function as well, small receptors on the gloves and chest plate that attract argent plasma and dissipated it through capillary tubes in the substructure. Markings on the armor were also consistent with images of a man, or humanoid, seen in several of the tablets and stones found in other expeditions. The same markings were also noted on the helix stone. Despite it being clear that the suit can be activated in some way, no method has been found to do it. It appears to be missing a component, likely the Doom Marine it's himself. The other is located in the Cadingir Sanctum. Pistol, UAC, EMG, sidearm. 
Standard UAC employees provided a standard UAC EMG and OG Matter Gel sidearm upon promotion to Tier 2 and above. The sidearm is reliable and effective at short range. The gravity gear dynamo in the stock charges a capacitor whenever the operator moves. When the weapon is fired, the capacitor compresses up to 4 megawatts of urgent energy into a hardened plasma gel and launches the slug at high velocity. The gel slug has the same impact properties of conventional ammunition, making the weapon act and feel like a standard ballistic firearm. The weapon is constructed of thermally diffusive metal alloys which allow it to discharge rapidly and repeatedly without overheating or compromising the accuracy. The capacitor in the EMG can also be upgraded to concentrate the energy into one large pulse for more stopping power. 3 kills so far. Preator suit token. Upgrade the Preator suit. Environmental resistance. Auto scanning technician. Technology. Health, armor, ammo. Next upgrade. Available one. Decrease explosive barrel and environmental damage taken. Okay, do it. Okay. Weapon upgrade points. The arsenal tab shows you available weapons and mods. On this screen you can spend weapon upgrade points to improve your mods and track your progress towards available weapon masteries. <coughs> kind of like in Wolfenstein. Cool. Automap. This mission tab will show you the automap, available mission challenges, and exploration items can be found in your current position. Aha! Okay. Um, that is a what? Something that's speaking echo. Okay. Nothing interesting more in here. Okay. Why is everything shaking? Glory kills. Dealing damage to demons will cause them to stagger, which is indicated by a blue highlight. Move into re close range, and when the highlight turns orange, press mouse 5. Damn. Um, can you show that to me again? Monsters, the possessed. Lord Hills 4. The possessed are created in Lazarus Wave event, a phenomenon first discovered by Dr. Olivia Pierce during her Lazarus project. While most victims exposed to argent biowaves will expire with a, without further effect, some subjects will absorb traces of argent energy and enter a state of posthumous vigor. Despite necrosis of the internal organs, with the exception of the brain, the victim continues to animate and exhibit a low order of sentience for weeks or even months after clinical death. Posthumous brain activity in the possessed is limited to instinctive behavior. The possessed are known to be territorial when confronted by the living. When isolated, they will often enter a dormant state for extended periods of time. They will stand unmoving for days or weeks at a time until presented with a live food source or threatened by a predator. These are guys are disgusting. An interesting behavior has been seen when the possessed are held in... in what? Uh, press the mouse button to eliminate them, attack demons from any angle, including from above, to perform different glory kills. Glory kill demons will always drop health. Okay. I don't need health. My ammo is infinite. What are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a shotgun. Great way to lock me out of going back. Imp. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Imp. These ferocious angel demons are found all over hell and are often used on the front line in a concentrated attack in either dimension. They revel in battle, feeding off their victims when the hunger takes them. Yeah. Okay. Imps. Got it. Damn. The movement is super fast. Destroy the core nest. Find site 03 exit. Find the resource ops entrance. 
Okay. No, really. What's making noises? Can't I open this? Really? 20 is max ammo? I need this. Thank you. Gore nests. Studies of demons upon entering the dimension, this dimension have shown that their conduct is not purely vindictive. There is a method behind their actions. When a demon captures their prey, the fresh kill is taken to a temporary ceremonial site where arcane rituals are performed on a pile of blood and gore. When enough corpses have been gathered, the ceremonial site becomes a gore nest. These sites, imbued with hell energy, from the rituals act as umbilical cords to hell. Extreme caution must be taken when approaching a gore nest. Attacking the nest, or indeed any demons within close proximity to the nest, will act as an alarm and siphon more demons from hell. Thank you for telling me! The Combat Shotgun The OSC shotgun disperses a spread of high-velocity buckshot for maximum impact against the enemy. Ideally suited for the operative who requires a speedy response for deadly close encounters. The wide coverage of this weapon loses impact at long range. The weapon is forged from the high quality titanium steel alloy to ensure maximum reliability. Repeat rate and yield strength. Also, probably heavy. Safe yeah, so we're always running and pressing is for... Whoa! Pressing is for slowing down. Got it. Ow! Ow! Okay, that happened. Last one checkpoint. Hello, imp. Go to hell. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Whoa. Give me that. Move. Follow me. Demonic presence and unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Who's still living? Okay, go on this completed. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's how you define arenas. Okay. I need more armor. 
Let me check if I missed any ammo. Yeah, well, at least it's nice and self-contained. He cannot be allowed to leave this place. He would ruin everything. Are you talking about me? I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now. Yes. Oh, oh, really? But it was worth the risk. I assure you. <laughs> it's software. Doom. Punctuated with a cocking of the. Okay. Over there somewhere. No? No better way? Let's try it. Through here! Nope! Okay. Um, more shards. More stuff. Oh, more shards. Looks like you had a bad fall. <coughs> Right. Like that. Whoa, what are you shooting at? Who's shooting? Cool. How do I get back my ammo? Okay, that's a start. Health packs, health packs. That's not a lot. 
That's barely anything. I will not be able to play this game for long. It's too fast. Find the blue access key. Find the resource ops entrance. How do I get to that doll over there? Wait. This is a door. Blue access only. Uh huh. Invalid key token. How do I get the doll? Aha! Yay! Ah, uh, nice music. Combat shotgun model blue guy. There are two UAC marine guy collectibles in every map. Each one you'll find unlock a model that can be viewed by visiting collectibles menu. Eh, meh, meh. Explore the environment to find secrets. Mission information. Glory kills. The possessed soldier. While Lazarus wave exposure does effectively wipe any vestige of human behavior for most of its victims, some subjects continue to display tactical cognizance posthumously. As with possessed engineers, this does not appear to be random. If an individual has training in combat as part of the UAC military, the Lazarus Wave event will transform them into more than mere slaves. This anomaly further supports the theory that there is some form of genetic coding embedded within the Lazarus Wave particles which governs the outcome of Lazarus Wave exposure on a per case basis. Shotgun. Yeah. Oh, hi. Thank you. Let me in. Grenade! Press middle button to use an, ex an equipment item when you have it available. Equipment items are on a recharge timer that must complete before they can be used again. The equipment system can be improved by upgrading the Preator suit. Cycle through available equipment by pressing F2 and F1. The frag grenade. The design of this weapon is conventional in nature, though it has been refined to perform to at the limit of its ballistic capabilities. The UAC fragmentation grenade uses a Comp D explosive package encased in a steel alloy shell and has an effective fatality radius of about 5 meters. Improvements on the antiquated M67 grenade include a more reliable chemical fuse mechanism, interior machin machining of the casing to provide more efficient projectile dispersion, and a trigger switch safety clip to prevent unwanted activation. The newer Comp D explosive also ensures the radial pressure wave has no drop spots, ensuring full damage potential within the fatality zone. Lovely. The equipment system. Okay. Okay. So, just find an enemy and toss it. And it just reloads. Okay. Let's do this. No? Nothing? Can I drive this?
Whoa, what is this? Um, I want it. Lighting is beautiful, as always. Okay. What does this do? Hello, scanning technology unlocked. Bottom up, downloaded. Cool. I missed a section over here. Okay. Area scanning technology. Oh, I got the one thing I needed. Um, next, with the grease explosive barrel, environmental damage taken. The other map reveals exploration items in a wider radius around your position. That's nice. I can't upgrade that. Do this! Item awareness. The compass will pulse from near secret areas. Cool! Close. Elite Guard. The Elite Guard is a company of security personnel charged with protecting the Lazarus Project research and maintaining order throughout the Argent facility. Their distinct red uniform help to steal a calming influence among UAC employees and they are known to be level-headed, disciplined and fair but firm. Their suits contain cybernetic augmentations which gives the Elite Guard an advantage should they need to quell any disturbances. The augmentations allow them to be faster, stronger and more resilient to injury. Prior to suit upgrades, find elite guards, earn tokens, upgrade the positive suit, blah 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! You're not so tough. You are more shards. Got it. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I exploded myself. 
<laughs> Load some checkpoints. <sighs> what the hell are you? Probably shouldn't go in there. Should I have not gone there? Do you have any ammo? Data log. Oh, data log. Uh, welcome to Mars. New advocates, welcome to the UAC. This guidebook will serve as your personal guide to fitting in at the Argent facility on Mars. Your devotion to the UAC's mission is the foundation on which we achieve the establishments of a new paradigm to move humanity forward into the future. The Tier 1 advocates may take some time to adjust to life on Mars, but with faith and dedication you can look forward to a long and fruitful career as they walk towards full induction. Your transition to Tier 2 status will be judged upon your actions here. Make a good impression, new advocate. This guide will update automatically as you access new areas of the facility. Expect more helpful hints into the UAC way of life, and as we say here on Mars, power from the people. Yeah. Love Mars. Can't get enough of Mars. I should probably go there before I continue that way. No, nothing. Nothing jumping at me. Okay, so this is as intended. Who the hell are you? Combat support drone weapon modifications. Charged burst. Hold the weapon mod button to charge up a three round burst with tighter spread. Explosive shot. All the must want to charge up an arcing explosive round. Huh. Sure, let's do explosive rounds. Bigger boom. Explosive shot. Shotgun ammunition incorporates a glycerin fuse that detonates on an octanitrocubane gel upon impact. Embedded shot is dispersed at the point of impact, creating a wide area of effect. Highly effective against multiple targets or when detonated to the rear of enemies in defilade. Blah 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 blah. Press activate, activate, alter in firing mode. Visit the arsenal and the dossier. Equip weapon modifications and watch out for field drones. Got it. Field drone. Often referred as droppers, these drones were developed by the UAC to autonomously receive and deliver ordered parts to engineers, off-duty employees, and soldiers. Explosive shot. Yes. So. 
Wait, was that door supposed to open? I got this, and I got that. Seems like it should be a different color. Move. Okay, let's play. Now. Thank you. This place. That's it. Nothing. Checkpoint. Come get me, bastards. Are you shooting backwards, you son of a biscuit? Keeping the ammo. It's fine. Painful to play.
That's where I wanted to go. Come get me. Quick save or something? No. Freaking checkpoints. Oh, hi! Yay! Increase the time it takes to power up a charged energy shot. Eh. Reduce the charge time between explosive shots. Increase the size of explosion. Remove the loading time for an explosive shot. Increase size of explosion. Uh huh. Which hard to unlock? Mastery. Weapon upgrade points. Right, okay. Pick it up then. Thank you. Very important. New model, classic guy. Okay, where didn't I go? <laughs> Got it. Wait, this goes... There. Okay. What happened to all the baddies? Wait, what the hell? Should I go here? Yeah, I should go here. Oh boy. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, still alive. I hate all this dust. Who's growling? Stop growling. <laughs> 